Hi, I'm Blake Irving, CEO of GoDaddy. There's a couple things that I notice that startups do. They build a product and they start looking for customers. That's backwards. So you go find out what customers want and then build a product that fulfills that need. So they kind of do that backward. There's an ecosystem of supply and demand. And so for the company that was doing uh, design services for consumers and small businesses, they have supply, which is designers, and demand, which are consumers and small businesses that need that. They have to decide where they're going to go focus first. Are they going to go focus on the supply side or the demand side? And it's very difficult to do both at the same time. Three of the companies that I saw today had that same issue. Uh, and every company had the issue of, I am so deep into the weeds on my technology and what I've been doing for the last two years that I've missed some subtle nuances on how I should be positioning or marketing my product. When you're so deep in the weeds, you don't pull yourself back up, look down and scan the horizon and say, oh, I missed a really big thing. It's a tiny nuance, but it's a big thing and it can be the difference between success and failure. A lot of sm small business entrepreneurs, people that are starting their business, will say, I, I, I don't want to tell anybody about my idea because if I tell them my idea, they're going to steal it. But that is so wrong. The more people you tell, the more feedback you'll get. It's not about the idea, it's about execution of the idea. Everybody has ideas. Very few people actually execute against it. So go tell everybody you can about an idea, get feedback on it, let them assail it, let them tell you it's great or horrible, tell you where the holes are, and then go execute like crazy. We actually took a pretty aggressive stance with women in technology and said, look, you know, women are underrepresented in technology generally, but 22% as a high number in the Silicon Valley of computer scientists and coders are women today. So what we've done at GoDaddy is actually raise the issue, we've talked about it openly, we've talked about what our numbers are in terms of percentage of men versus women, and then we've taken a step further and actually went into the details of how salary equality is distributed inside the company, actually publishing our salary equality data, promotion trajectory data, to explain to folks, look, this is what's happening in the market, this is what's happening in management, Women aren't matriculating up into the highest engineering roles because they leave to go have a child or they go have their second child. And these are things that if we're going to be successful in getting you know, an equal number of women, of men in the workplace, we have to solve these things. So we haven't fixed it. We've moved the needle. 50% of our new uh, college hires for computer science engineers are women. Almost 50% of our interns that are computer scientists and engineers are women but still underrepresented in my company, underrepresented in the entire industry. So with GoDaddy, with our history, talking about it publicly actually is a really good bellwether for other companies, whether you're Microsoft, Google, Facebook, you know, LinkedIn, doesn't make a difference. Um, and that, that's what we're doing company-wide. We entered, uh, last February, we entered 11 Asian countries. Uh, we're growing at about 20% in Asia. Uh, customer growth, about 20%. Some of those countries are growing at 25%, which is brisk growth for a company of our size. There's nobody at, at our scale that services our customer base. Our customers are solopreneurs. They're individual sole proprietors. Most of our customers have less than five employees. They're tiny. They can't afford very much, so we try to get them online in a way where they can acquire customers and retain customers and run their business for very few dollars and get started. And that's what we do from idea formation to, hey, I have an idea, this is what I want my company to be, to now I'm running it and I'm executing my playbook. Uh, and we help them do all parts of that. Regionally, there are com companies that are in the domains business, then there's companies that are in the website business, there's companies that are in the mail business, but very few do the full array of products that we do today. 